going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to auto auction rebuilds we are back with monkey wrench mike yeah the most gullible guy in wichita right now <laughs> i just convinced him that i bought the car in richmond virginia it's a richmond virginia gate pass and we're in wichita kansas so he just thought i mean i convinced him that we just drove to wichita for no reason because the 65 cadillac is actually in virginia yeah. i could have been an actor you could you should i should have been. been an actor yeah. i should have been a, we're in wichita we're at the lkq yeah we just picked up some parts for your for disco, disco inferno, inferno baby <laughs> boy <laughs> hey it runs now that's it huge it is huge so if you haven't seen his videos you should go check it out. i'm gonna put a link to him right below this video go check him out because he is very gullible he needs your <laughs> he needs your that's why I was a crappy news anchor. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you were working for uh, CNN and no, NBC and I, no. ABC and Fox, baby. I was with well, Fox. Phone news. We don't claim you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're back with. We're picking up a new car, and we are supposed to be hopefully meeting up with Weston Champlin and watch Jr. Go at Top Golf. Yeah. Yeah. So we get a swing the old clubs yeah how are you at swinging I'm, clubs? man i'm really good are you spend uh, the, a lot of time on the course uh mini mini golf yeah oh putt, putt. oh yeah 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 i love <laughs> do i look like i go eight round? what is it eight holes nine holes nine rounds 18 holes 18 18 18 no hell no it's, it's too hot for that it's, it's too hot for that i thought it was eight Eight, 18 <laughs> holes. Wow. I am not a very sophisticated kind of guy. You know, I like hamburgers and yeah. hot dogs and, and soda pop. Like, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. <laughs> eight, eight holes, eight rounds of, you know, whatever. Now, we'll see. We'll see. I, I might outswing all yeah. of you. The one your board you need to know is four. Oh, well, I know that one. You know that's, that one? When, that's when you're going to hit somebody or yeah. yeah, four. It's like saying heads up. Exactly. Well, heads up, we have a sight unseen, very dangerous to do this, from Mannheim. I bought a 1965 Cadillac Sedan DeVille, and I already know the comments are going to start flooding in. Two doors is better than four doors. You made a big mistake. You should never buy a four-door. Well, as with a lot of my purchases, it was an emotional and irrational uh, decision. My grandfather owned a 67 Cadillac Sedan DeVille when I was very, 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 very little. I remember riding in it just barely as a kid, but he loved that car to death. Power Tour is coming up. Are you going? Are you going to go? If I get invited. Well, you're already invited. <laughs> yes, I'm going. Okay, he's going. So <laughs> I bought this 65 Cadillac sight unseen. I, I, it's on Air Ride, um, so it goes up and down and sideways and all that other stuff. I know nothing really about it. It just said, as is, 65 Cadillac. It looks nice. I mean, it looks really nice, but you don't really know what you're buying until you see it. I've heard that before, and oh. I've witnessed the aftermath. <laughs> so, <laughs> that purple, what was the purple? Oh, the Roadrunner. It wasn't a real Roadrunner, though. It was a <laughs> satellite or something. A pile of something. Uh, the Dodge Dart. <laughs> We've done this before. <laughs> All right. This one was only $17,500. What could go wrong? What could go what, wrong? What could go wrong? $17,500 for a 65 Cadillac on Air Ride that I've never seen in my life. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to hit the dealership right now. We're only a few miles away. Let's, uh, let's go check it out. <laughs> let's, let's, go, your let's go see what we bought. <laughs> I, I asked the guy after I wanted, of course, I was able to contact the seller and I said, uh, you know, what would you think about driving it back to Oklahoma? He said, you might want to bring a trailer. Yeah. And I said, so we have the trailer. We have the trailer, but I fully intend on trying to drive this car back to Oklahoma. It's only two and a half hours. It'll make it, right? It'll make it. It's a 65. It made it all these years. You tell me you can't make it two and a half hours? Two and a half hours to two Oklahoma. Hours. It'll make it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here she is. What do you think? She's beautiful. I, I <laughs> Obviously, I've got her low low and slow this is as low as it goes it does not drop the frame or the body onto the ground there's yeah. still a good two inches maybe three yeah it's uh it's it's close it's yeah real close that's really 
I, I love it. It's not perfect, um, but for seventeen thousand five hundred dollars, I, I don't. I would never expect perfection. You know, it's a uh, vinyl wrapped. It's a pearl white mm -hmm. vinyl wrap. It looks really good. There are some imperfections in, in the wrap as well. But again, like I'm not going for perfect. I'm going for hot rod power tour. You're going for this. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't want something that looks, you know, absolutely stunning and perfect. That you know, when I get a rock chip on, I'm going to cry. This one, this is this is a driver. It's what they call it, driver quality. Mm -hmm. You know, it looks damn good. A few minor blemishes, a few minor imperfections, but overall, wow. Now, we didn't cheat them. We have not driven this. Right. The car lot is right there. Okay, we drove it. We drove it yeah. from there to here. <laughs> so it's not been on the road yet. No. Um, we're going to do that with you guys. Mike's going to follow behind me, I guess, in the truck. We're going to, I don't even know where we're going to go. Uh, I don't even know where we are. Yeah. We got to find, we got to find Watch Jericho, figure out where he's at and uh, and meet up with him or something. But this is it, guys. Um, I'm not 100% sure Power Tour is happening, but I'm about 90% sure that I'm going to be able to do Power Tour this year. And as long as nothing changes, it looks like this will be the the this vehicle the, yeah it's the power tour this is car it. right here man yeah yeah 65 cadillac sitting on the ground you like the wheels i do i, I had a lot of commenters saying that they hated the wheels it should mm -hmm. have original wheels and i'm kind of torn on it original wheels and then bagged well i mean i get where they're coming from but i i like the wheels i do too i do i like the wheels it's got brand new tires i think the wheels look good it's tastefully done the the chrome Stri strips on the side and on the top there have been redone in black yeah. and the black on the wheels ties it all together i i think they did good should we show them the trunk how big it is and how shiny and some of the extra <laughs> things that come in the trunk uh not only does it have a compressor but there's a uh, there's a sub back there too look at these keys old school this is an original gm key look at that yeah, that's been around a long time. A long time. Now, I don't remember which key. I think the square key. Square key is the ignition, the right? The ignition. This one should be the trunk? No. Oh, hell. All right, we figured it out. There it is. Ta-da! We got some bags. There are four bags in here. He said two of them are no good. He had to replace them because there was they was rubbing in a certain place he said they fixed where it was rubbing so it doesn't blow bags anymore but it's got two extra bags that are brand spanking new never been used in case there's a problem then you've got this this <laughs> this massive alpine subwoofer swt 12 s4 you got your air max tank and two compressors one on each side uh and still is it look at all the trunk look, yeah I, I, You've got your, you could still put your suitcases, golf clubs, and everything here and close the trunk. And this would have been the original. And I don't yeah. know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know how that would look on a, mm -mm. on a bagged car, you no, know? No, because this is too tall. Yeah, you yeah. This, yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. It probably would hit. Um, he said he did have um, one of those bags on the right front and went out twice. And he said the good thing about it was when it went out, he could still drive it. He was able, he didn't have to tow it. He was able to drive it back to where he was going and, and fix it later. So he said, even if the bags collapse on it, you're still good. It's a little tricky to start. I guess we should show him the engine and, and all that good stuff. I love that there's no post here. Yes. I, I think that is, that is just a cool look. All right, I'll start it up for you. As with all older cars, there's a trick. There's a trick to starting it. And I think it's, I don't remember which key. Mike likes riding in the back. I like it back that's, here. <laughs> that's his spot right there. It's not that key. I'm gonna have to learn these keys. It's that key. So you gotta hold the gas pedal to the floor. And when you go to start, it sounds weak, doesn't it? It's a little iffy. Yeah, yeah. when you start it, a little squeaky. Sounds like it needs a battery, I think, uh -huh. also. Um, you've got your ashtrays right here. Your climate control, which is broken, the, the knob broke off of it, and the replacement is in here. This is your Bluetooth stereo. Air suspension controls right here. This controls all four corners, each corner individually on the corners. Then the center front 
and rear independently as well. You got your chargers and everything there. Let's go ahead and start it up. There it is. Fires right up, horn. Horn works. The fuel gauge works, temp gauge works. The only thing he said doesn't work is the clock. That's the only thing that doesn't work. Power steering, power brakes. You got speakers down here in the corners. You got speakers back there. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of room in here. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna be sleeping right here. There's a lot of room in this car. Wow, you've got your crank, little uh, vent windows for natural air conditioning, of course. Then under the hood, I'm gonna shut it off just to make sure we don't get, you don't get jacked. <laughs> oh, <laughs> come on, Holmes. <laughs> Somebody roll up and uh, hop in and drive off. All right, the hood opens from, I thought it was right there. Uh. Maybe it's not. There it is. Oh, good God. Wow. <laughs> Whew. Okay, hood opens this is a, uh, I believe this is a 429 V8. It's got like 380 horsepower, 510 foot-pounds of torque. You've got a disconnect switch for the battery right there. I'm not sure about all this. I'm tempted to put a, a an AGM battery in here, like an Optima red top or yellow top, mm -hmm. and undo yeah. all of this and make it a little more, a little more factory. But there's your, uh, there's your air compressor, newer belt. Some of the belts down there need to be looked at, I think. Yeah, alternator belts cracking. Wouldn't hurt to do a little tune-up on, but I mean, for the most part, everything under here actually looks looks pretty good and very original. That's a good word for it, yeah. Very original. That's a, that's, <laughs> that's a good word for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well. There's a lot of room to work on stuff though. That's there good. There is. I'm hopeful that the AC can be made operable. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, well. Yeah, that's a good sign. Yeah, that's, uh, well, <laughs> what do you expect? Right, right. <laughs> Tell them about the oil oh, tube here. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm probably gonna find another oil dipstick for it. This is not factory, I don't believe. That looks aftermarket, but he said if you put this on here, the hell doesn't even fit right. He said it'll start doing this. And it sounds like it's a lifter or a top end engine problem. So he said they just put it right here and it doesn't have any blow by, I guess, or it would have been blowing oil all over the place. <laughs> so he said they just leave it here. They've driven it to Hutchinson and back and, and they've never had a problem with blowing out oil or anything. So. He said, just keep it on the wall. It does burn a little bit. You know, it's an older car. And I guess that's about it. Other than we ought to raise it up. You can hold the camera. Okay. Oh, and, you're going to uh, make the, uh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to make her, I'm going to make her go up in the air. How's that look? That looks cool. Yeah, when you go all the way up, it's not as cool. That may still be a little too low. Yeah, but... But it's close. It's, it's close. She looks good. She it does. raises it, fast. Yeah, it does. And I, I was able to do it over and over and over again, and it didn't run out of air. It had no problem lifting it up and lowering it back down again. Yeah. All right, well, I guess... We need to get some diesel. Okay. I want to go ahead and fill this up. I've got 15 gallons of gas cans I want to fill up. So we should probably find a safer location to go <laughs> to go fuel up. Then we'll go uh, we'll go try to meet up with Watch Jarago before we all go to Top Golf. Yeah. 
and meet up there. All right, well, we're on the road. I just filled up the gas tank and it works. The speedometer, I checked it with my GPS. It's right on point. The speedometer is accurate. It rides smooth as silk. Compressor doesn't sound too bad. We are on our way to the Car Ninja to go meet Johnny for the first time. And we're gonna go see Watch JR Go. And uh, we'll let everybody get a little bit closer look at the car. I think I'm gonna roll in with the, uh, there it is, gotta be right here. I assume. No, hold on, hold on. German Auto Works. There we go. Let's drop the back on the ground. There we go. German Motor Works. I've never been here before. Let's see what we got here. I wonder if there's going to be a uh, if there's going to be an I-8 somewhere out here. We're going to park around the corner where it's safe and out of everybody's way. Ooh, look at that! Oh my goodness! All right, I do not see Jr. I wonder if he's here. We'll find out here in just a second. Let's drop her all the way to the ground. There it is. That low life. All right. Let's see what it is. All right, there's JR in the uh in the I8. Boy, I hope we don't accidentally oops, run Ooh, into that carbon fiber. So sorry. Look, typical BMW driver, no turn signals. Uh, he turned <laughs> when I when I started saying it, he had no turn signals. I was like, "Come on now." I mean, it drives good. It'll go. And it sounds good. Yeah. But we gotta, we gotta fix that battery. We, <laughs> we, we gotta fix that battery. The battery keeps coming undone, and the car dies immediately. And uh, it's a fire hazard. So we're gonna have to stop at a, uh, at an O'Reilly's, an AutoZone, something, and and we're gonna have to redo those battery terminals. All right, so we're on our way to Top Golf, and I guess we're gonna go have a little bit of fun. Johnny was cool, wasn't he? He was nice. Yeah, Johnny's yeah. awesome. I still don't know if we're gonna meet up with Weston Champlin or not. He might be there, he might not. Hopefully so. But we'll find out. Either way, it's always a good time when JR is around. That thing sounds mean. I'm gonna let him over. Come on. I, I like that car. I do. I like that car. So what you're saying is you know how to swing a golf club. I can swing a club, baby. All right. Well. I can swing some wood. You, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You got a birthday coming up. He's getting nasty in his old age. Oh wow. I just popped in my head, sorry. <laughs> Swing some wood. <laughs> All right. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh he's gonna do he's gonna do the pimp parking job right there. Oh, what does that say? Oh he's a platinum oh, member. Platinum. Ooh. Hey buddy, you can't park that there. What? You can't park that there. Yeah. Platinum. I am platinum. Park yours here too. Am I platinum now? I mean, I am. I I'm platinum. I'm platinum. <laughs> hey, Mike. Yes. Are you going to hit a four in one right there? I'm going to hit a four in one. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> You're going to hurt somebody with that thing, man. <laughs> Let let's see what he does. Holy crap. Where <laughs> wow. Well, that went to the fence. Nice. You, you nice. made it to the fence, Mike. If you make that shot like one foot that way, you're done. Okay. Farther down with the club. Here he goes again. Damn. Are you serious? I think it was blue. Oh, it did. Wow. 
Hey, y'all, you need to stick with that one, man. That one's working for you. Oh, that's a woman's club. That's a, oh, that's why it's working. That's why it's working for you, Mike. You also have like a, you have like a 10 knot wind coming from the south. Okay. I can't say anything, guys. I can't, I can't hit one of these to save my life. Whoa, my dad's biggest regret. I can't figure out. Yeah. Hot dog. Let's see, I look up. 94 miles an hour. Yeah. All right, here it goes. <laughs> Mike, you looked up, man. What's wrong with you, Mike? Damn. Okay, that's pretty. <laughs> that's pretty good, Mike. 116 miles an hour. Here we go. Am I done? How many more do I have? No, you got to hit 20 of them. You're on. You're on number nine. You got. I got you got a long way to go, man. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we hung out with Weston Champlin, Gary, and Jr. and his uh, his girlfriend. I forgot her she was name. Cute. Yes. I forgot her name. I feel like such a. More, more real. More. Yeah. Something, yeah. Something. Cool. Um, if you see the video, I apologize. I'm horrible with names anyway, but we came out here and we found a guy and his girl checking out the caddy sitting down, you know, low. And uh, Mike said, he's checking out the caddy and not JR's BMW. And he's like, no, I'm a car guy. <laughs> there he is right there. There he is right there. That's a 900 horsepower. Yeah. That sounds slow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's dirty. Okay. We're gonna see if it wants to start. Whew, it is cold, Mike. It is it is very cold out here right now. And that's a wrap. Old car stuff. Now, we need to know if the headlights work. Hey, Mike, where's the headlights? That is a great question. Just like that, it died. That that battery, I, I wanna put a new battery in it, some new terminals in it. That's first thing to do on the list, man. Uh, I wish we didn't have to drive it home like this, but we got storms coming in fast. There we go. Oh, come on. Come on. We got to raise her up off the ground, too. Okay. Have you ever seen those lights? Those Tesla lights that you touch and the sparks go everywhere? I saw it. That's what happens up front. Right? I yeah. saw that looked that looked really bad. I got a little tingly. Do you get you get you get <laughs> juiced? I got tingled. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let this compressor air up, and once it's aired up, we're gonna hit the road, go pick up the truck. All right, I think we've made it. There it is. There it is, right there. We made it. We made it. We have driven this car ten miles, and yes, the trip works. The odometer works. The trip works. Apparently the lights work. We'll double check those here in just a minute. The truck is back here, right? Yeah. Right there. Your destination is on the left. All right. There's the old pick 'em up truck. So, what did you think of uh, Weston doing the golf and hitting Jr. in the balls? <laughs> that I have never seen before. I, I should have filmed. I didn't want to. Like we're all out. You know, it, it's. To me, it's kind of rude, you know, be out there. For, we're all having dinner and we're we're just having fun. Right. You know, there's no need to put everything on social media. You know, so we we had a good time. That that's all that matters. We had a good time. Wesley got up there with those golf club man. He he hit Jr. right in the nuts. Yeah. The, the ball came backwards. It, <laughs> it, it hit him, 
<laughs> it hit the roof, then it hit JR in the nuts and bounced down the floor there. And then he did it again. <laughs> Almost like it was intentional. And then he hit it himself. Yeah. He hit himself three times and JR twice. I've never seen that. Before. What we're trying to say is it was a great time. <laughs> it, and oh, hey, don't. Uh, let's not forget about how you stomped us at golf. This dude right here. I won't be able to move tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but you killed it, man. Uh, you did. You, you yeah. nailed it. My dad would be proud. They look like they're pointed up, but they're not. They're not. They're pointed right here. Like, look. Yeah. Yeah, these headlights are not very good. And when you turn the brights on, they come on for two seconds. And then it's like a relay clicks and they shut off. Yeah. Um, those lights down there are not supposed to come on until you turn your turn signals on. I assume they're working. The front ones. Left, right, left, right, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go back and check. Uh, let's check these. Oh, the license plate lights work and everything. Boy, she sounds good. Left, right, and brakes. Not that it, yeah, not that it matters because she's coming home anyway. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess what time? Well, my watch is dead. My phone is dead. I need a charging 825. cable. Eight twenty-five. Yeah. And it's windy. It's clouding up pretty nasty. This is scary weather. God, this looks good though, Mike. Who cares if we die in a tornado? This looks great. All right, it's time to get on the road. I'm gonna set you guys up on a time lapse that probably is not gonna look good. If it doesn't, then we won't have a time lapse, but I'm, I'm gonna try to get you guys on a, on a time lapse video. See, there's the brights. They come on and they just turn right back off. It's weird. Um, you can't see the gauges. This camera just doesn't pick it up. Let me get you guys on a time lapse and we're gonna hit the road. Cross your fingers. Let's hope this old girl can make it two and a half hours to Oklahoma from Wichita, Kansas. All right guys, we had to stop for gas. We're at 187.5 miles and it was getting kind of low. It held 17.766 gallons of gas over the course of 187.5 miles. It comes out to 10.55 miles a gallon. And even though that sounds really, really bad, it's actually not that bad, guys. Originally, this car got about 10 miles a gallon, so 10.5 is pretty good considering how old it is. Uh, we are going to get back on the road, and we're going to try to make it the rest of the way home. We only have maybe another 30 or so miles left to go, so let's see if it makes it. Well, it is a brand new day, and as you can see, the Cadillac is here. It made it, although we did have a slight issue with it um a little disappointed about what happened so she did make it home but we ended up with a little bit of a problem we stopped to get gas and we figured out it gets like 10 and a half miles a gallon or something like that um which is pretty good for this car but what I didn't show on camera is as we were pulling into the gas station, I was kind of freaking out. We got off the highway, the car sounded good, no warning lights on. But as I got off the interstate and was pulling into the gas station, the oil light came on. And I was like, oh no, you know, low oil pressure at low RPMs, kind of scary. Well, it got worse because I heard the engine starting to tap. It was a, an upper end, tick, 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 tick. And I was like, oh, man, <laughs> not good, not good. Well, <laughs> this is the part I was a little bit peeved about. I'm going to pop the hood. I still haven't fixed the battery. We're going to have to do some of this work in a separate video. This one's already getting a little bit too long here. Oh, no, the oil cap blew off and there's oil all over the top of the engine. man ah, well this dipstick as we figured out is not the right dipstick for this car um, this is a Chinese dipstick and it's the thing is in bad shape what I noticed is as you get to the bottom you can see that it's all chewed up well guess what would have chewed up that dipstick the engine this dipstick went in too far and the engine had chewed it up some. Thankfully, it didn't break any metal pieces off, but it definitely chewed it up. The, uh, the cap right here, 
this is not the proper cap this has a a rubber oh it's covered in oil this has a rubber bottom that seals tightly um you don't want that oh boy it doesn't even you can't even hardly get it to seal the original cap was a breather it was a it was a vent cap to allow the engine to breathe through a mesh filter um, once you plug this off you end up with a bunch of back pressure building up through the through the uh, crankcase so i i've got to uh I've got to figure that out as well. Now I've got to clean all of this up under here. But the good news is after we put a couple quarts of oil in it, it was running fine again, and I don't see any real leaks. I'm going to put you guys underneath it. I put it in my own driveway. Ugh. There's a couple spots here and there. I guess you do kind of expect something from 1965 to, uh, you know, it might have a leak or two, but nothing that's like profusely pouring out from under it. Now, with all the oil that got all over here, I'm gonna have to clean all this up because certainly that has, you know, dripped some oil all over the underside of it. Um, we're gonna come back and we'll work on some of this stuff in another video. I'm gonna order that dipstick, which is like $120 because the proper dipstick for this car is super hard to come, got, come by. It's very rare and uh, they charge a premium for them. We will definitely come back and fix all of this. We'll go through checking fluids and really looking the car over, get it on the lift, check it out, and uh, we'll do all of that in another video. She's definitely not perfect. She's gonna need a little bit of work and we're gonna start with some basic stuff. We're probably gonna check the battery. If it needs replaced, we'll replace it. We're gonna fix the weird power cable that they've got on the battery that thing is no good we're gonna have to straighten some things out definitely get it on the lift look under it find out what the suspension looks like uh, we don't know how it was bagged we're just gonna have to get under there and see for ourselves how's the frame how's everything it's gonna be a lot of work and we got very little time to get it ready for the hot rod power tour um so we're gonna jump right into it in the next video i hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you so much to watch jr go for inviting us out to have a good time at top golf and weston thank you for the laughs there's some memories there i'll never forget monkey wrench mike of course couldn't have done this without you man and happy birthday to you monkey wrench mike and if you guys enjoy monkey wrench mike definitely go check him out he's gonna have a link down below this video go subscribe to him show the man some love and tell him happy birthday until next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.